Eight years after the civil war began, many parts of Syria are now destroyed beyond recognition. 11 million Syrians were displaced. 5.6 million of them fled to neighboring countries of Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey. 2,000 of those Syrians have since been resettled in Ireland. In the last two years, 36 families have made Mayo their new home. And that includes eight families who have settled here in Clare Morris. Faisal, Shamsa and their five children left their rural village in 2012. They then spent four years in Lebanon before moving to Ireland as part of the resettlement programme. I was afraid for my children because of the war. I was worried day and night. There was no school. The children couldn't sleep. There were no hospitals working. Syria is dear to me and I will never forget it. It's my country. I love it so much and I miss it. In particular, I miss my family who stayed back in Syria. But life in Ireland is good, especially the children's schools. Thank God their schooling has been secured. God willing, they have a bright future. When the family arrived in Ireland in 2016, they were housed in a direct provision centre in Kildare. Although they got English lessons, they found it difficult to learn the language. We came here from the reception centre, where we stayed alongside other Syrian families. We didn't have any English then. But once we arrived in Claire Morris, we had to rely on ourselves and learn English. During their four years in Lebanon, the children didn't get any formal education. But remarkably, within just two years of starting school in Clare Morris, they've almost caught up. This was so hard, first time we don't know any English. I used to go to the school, I don't know what they say. I hate the school first time, but now I love the school. I have so much friend now. First year I come, oh my God, I don't have any friend because I can't speak English. It wasn't easy in first year. Even in second year, it wasn't that easy for me to make friends. But the people in Ireland are so nice. They all talk to me now, and I have so much friends in the school. And how do you find life in Clare Morris? Good. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Do you like the food here? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your sports then. What do you do for sports? I play soccer and rugby and Gaelic. How do you see the future? Do you, do you see it very much in Ireland, or would you yeah. like to go back to Syria? No, I don't want to go back to Syria. <laughs> like, I love Syria. I miss Syria so much, but like the life there is so difficult. Like, I want to be a human rights lawyer or a pharmacy or a biomedical engineer. <laughs> I have so many things. Faisal was a sheep farmer in Syria. Today, he works three days a week as a groundsman in a local football club. To help him integrate into the community and reconnect with his farming roots, he's volunteered for a social farming programme that's run by the South West Mayo Development Company. One day a week, he joins fellow farmer Abdel Hadi to work on Oliver and Anna Dixon's organic farm. We try and have as many things as you would be doing normally on a farm, like you know, changing the fence hard and, and um, like Abdul is very good at pruning the apple trees and that. So it's not something that I would be very au fait with. So he's, he's pretty good at that. So um, activities like that, yeah. The fact that they're from a farming background and to be able to see how they would compare things from here back home. And you can see them having a chat with themselves when they'd ask you about a piece of machinery or an implement or something. We do use Google Translate, which is oh, great, over the kitchen yeah. table. And, uh, yeah. you know, we use pictures and, you know, we're going through all the different types of vegetables, the different trees, the names of them. It's not really direct translation, so it's kind of experience it and then find out the name of it. So it's kind of on the job, you know what I mean, teaching English as well. Faisal, you're, you're in cow country now, surrounded by cows, and I wonder how different that is from the farming that you used to do in Syria. 
The main difference between Ireland and Syria is the weather. In Syria, five or six months might pass without rain. Here, it rains nearly every day. In Syria, agriculture is different. There is a new season every three months, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Abdel Hadi was an olive farmer in Syria. He lost everything in the war. I had around 350 olive trees back home. Unfortunately, 90% of them were destroyed. After we left, people uprooted them and sold them as firewood. The trees were from 50 to 300 years old. They were farmers um, from a different country, a different culture, a different climate, and they come here under the circumstances that they came. And I just think to myself, if I, had to, if I didn't have my farm, if I lost my farm and I had to move to another country, a different culture, how would I be? You know, so it really has opened my eyes up to that side of it and the challenges that they have had and how would I have gotten through that myself. We like the fact of social inclusion and I think uh, that's very important whether you're a refugee or not. Social inclusion is so important and we need it in this day and age. Being on the farm brings me back to my youth. I love nature and enjoy it. I love farms and the trees. When I come here, I long for my past. It makes me feel alive. <laughs>